Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of m is equal to 65. Now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to take the power of 2 over 2 on the left hand side here. So now I have 3 to the power of m to the power of 2 over 2 minus 2 to the power of m to the power of 2 over 2. This is equal to 65. Now 2 over 2, this is the same thing as 1. So we're basically saying 3 to the power of m to the power of 1, which is the same thing as 3 to the power of m. So we didn't make any major changes here. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So I'm going to use this exponential property for both 3 to the power of m to the power of 2 over 2 and 2 to the power of m to the power of 2 over 2. So now I have 3 to the power of m times 2 over 2 minus 2 to the power of m times 2 over 2 is equal to 65. Now, 2 over 2, this is the same thing as 1 over 2 times 2. So I'm going to rewrite 2 over 2 as 1 over 2 times 2 for both of them. And remember, if we have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine m and 1 half to make 3 to the power of m over 2 times 2. So now I can use this property. So now we are going to have 3 to the power of m over 2 to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of m over 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 65. Now I'm going to set the x, or sorry, I'm going to set x equal to 3 to the power of m over 2. I'm going to set y equal 2 to the power of m over 2. So now if we plug in x and y into our equation here, we get x squared minus y squared is equal to 65. So now let's go ahead and solve this problem. If we have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So, well, x squared minus y squared, this is in the same form, meaning x squared minus y squared, this is the same thing as x plus y times x minus y and now this is equal to 65. Now 65, this is the same thing as 13 times 5. So we have x plus y times x minus y is equal to 13 times 5. Now this can give us two equations. We have x plus y is equal to 13 and x minus y is equal to 5. So this is essentially a system of equations. So if we add these two systems together, we will cancel these two out, and we get 2x is equal to 13 plus 5 is 18. So now if we divide both sides by 2, these two cancel out, and we are left with x is equal to 18 divided by 2 is 9. So our value for x is 9. So now that we have our value for x, well, let's go ahead and find our value for 9 by plugging in x into this equation. So 
x plus y equals 13. If we plug in 9 for x, we get 9 plus y is equal to 13. Now, if I subtract 9 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I'll get y is equal to 13 minus 9 is 4. Now, to check, let's go ahead and plug in 9 and 4 into our second system to see if it's right. So remember, x is 9. So we have 9 minus y is 4. This is equal to 5. 9 minus 4 is 5. So we have 5 equals 5. Because this is right, we know that x equals 9 and y equals 4 are correct values. So now, remember, x equals 9, y is equal to 4. So remember before how we set x equals to 3 to the power of m over 2, and we set y equal to 2 to the power of m over 2. So now we can simply plug in x and y for 9 and 4. So let's first start with x equals 3 to the power of m over 2. So if we plug in 9 for x, we get 9 is equal to 3 to the power of m over 2. Now, 9, this is the same thing as 3 squared, right? So now we get 3 squared is equal to 3 to the power of m over 2. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of b, is equal to a to the power of c, this means that b is equal to c. So in this case, we can think of a as 3, b as 2, and c as m over 2. Because both we have two a's on both sides, this means that the exponents here are equal to each other, meaning 2 is equal to m over 2. Now to solve this, I simply have to multiply both sides by two. These two cancel out, two times two is four, so I'd be left with four is equal to m. Now let's see if we get the same answer for our second equation. We have y equals two to the power of m over two. Remember, y is equal to four. So now we have four is equal to two to the power of m over two. Now, 4, this is the same thing as 2 squared, so we have 2 squared is equal to 2 to the power of m over 2. And remember, a to the power of b is equal, if a to the power of b equals a to the power of c, b equals c. So in this case, 2 is equal to m over 2. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. These two cancel out, and I'm left with 4 is equal to m. So now that we have our value for m, let's go ahead and plug it into the original equation to see if it's right. So remember, our original equation was 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of m is equal to 65. Now, m is equal to 4. So if I plug in m for 4, I get 3 to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 65. 3 to the power of 4 is 81, minus 2 to the power of 4 is 16, so this is equal to 65, and 81 minus 16 is 65. So if 65 is equal to 65 because it is right, we know that m is equal to 4 is right as well.